Hi, welcome back to another People I Meet. And that light really distracts me all the time. I really don't like fluorescent lights, but what do you do? Because that's what I have. Okay, so People I Meet. Now, generally in most situations, I'm the weird one, which means I'm the one people remember. And I'm also the one with holes in my brain and I'm gonna forget your name and that's my excuse, okay? And for years that was, I had like an underlying medical cause condition that I didn't know about and again, that's my excuse. Well, one day I was driving to work and um, I saw the guy who worked in the cubicle next to me. His name, um, I'll, I'll use a real name I think. It was Carl. And he was, walk. I think, I'm, I don't really remember, but he, he was weirder than I, so I at least knew he worked in the cubicle next to me. And he had his pants, one leg of his pants were cut off at the knee, so I'm whatever. But he's walking to work and I'm driving and we're going to the same place and so I pull over and I'm like, hey, do you want to ride? And he gets in and he buckles up and I'm like, what's with your pants? And he's like, oh, you can't have holes in your knees, so I just cut them off. I'm like, okay, whatever. And then, after this conversation, after he's buckled up and we're driving, he's like, so, what's your name? I'm like, really? Don't you want to have that conversation before you get in the car? And he's like, well, if you wanted to take me up and rape me, I'd actually be flattered. And I was like, no, no, there's no, there's no raping involved. You work in the cubicle next to me, dude. My name's Celeste. We, we work together. And he's like, oh, sorry. Yeah, that's, that's fine. So, yeah, I'm usually the one that people remember because I'm usually the weirder one. For example, one semester in college, there was this really hot guy um, in the seat behind me. Huh, his name was also Gunner, also a nickname, not the black dude. And every week I would turn around, I was like, hey, you're really hot, what's your name? And he's like, Gunner. And finally one week, he was like, you ask me this every week, it's midterms. And I was like, well, don't you feel flattered that I think you're hot every week? And he was like, I did at first, but you forget my name every week. And I was like, I think you're hot. Yeah, it, he wasn't flattered anymore because I forgot his name every week. I don't think I look that weird, but apparently I, I really am. <laughs> I, I really am. Which is why I attract these people. I can't even tell you the number of times complete strangers have told me they've been sexually abused as a child. Is this normal? Does this happen to everyone else? Or is it just me? Is it the resting nice face I have going on? The cheating on her husband 15, t the cheating husband 15 times, all right, that was new. But the cheating husband, that's, that's not new. The 15 times was. But complete strangers will start talking to me and within 20 minutes tell me how they were sexually abused as a child. This happens so frequently that I don't even have stories for it anymore. I'm just like, you know, I'm sorry to hear it. I, I don't even have a response. I mean, I mean, I guess I do. I don't, I don't know. It's different every time because it's a different situation every time. What is it about me that people are like, hey, I can tell her this. And if the truth be told, it is, but their secrets are safe with me. One, because I do forget their names most of the time. And two, even when I don't forget their names, I'm not gonna tell their actual secrets to anyone with their names. And what I tell you guys, it's maybe their actual secrets, but there's no identifying information ever. And so maybe you can tell that I'm, you know, trustworthy and that I'm not going to divulge any information. And it's true. I won't. In fact, I keep secrets long after we're not friends anymore. Although one time I did divulge some secrets after we weren't friends anymore, just out of a sense of vengeance. It's kind of liberating, actually. Kind of, kind of felt good. But for the most part, long after you've totally stabbed me in the back, I still keep your secrets. So I guess that's why people tell me them. That's why complete strangers tell me them. But anyway, so I'm normally the weird one. And today I'm gonna go to Walmart because one of the housemates needs a ride and I need to pick up some cables for my car. 
So yeah, I guess I'll take him. And I hate Walmart because I am always, well, I just hate Walmart. And not because of the slave labor thing. Do your research, people. Target does it too. I just don't want to end up on people of Walmart. But since I'm already gonna go to Walmart, I'm probably not gonna get dressed. Yeah, in my pajamas, in a wheelchair. I just, even before I was in a wheelchair, I figured I'd end up on people of Walmart because I'm fat. And I'm not even like fat, fat, I'm just chubby, but that's apparently like a huge sin equated with loser and worthless and lazy and ugly and none of those I am, okay? And that lazy bit, it's really just chronic fatigue, actually. So, anyway, we'll see if we end up on people of Walmart, huh? Or maybe I'll put myself on there. We'll see how it goes, because I'm probably not going to get dressed. <laughs> okay, until next time. Bye!